In today's video, we bring you a groundbreaking confirmation. A respected rabbi affirms that references to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, can indeed be found within Jewish scriptures. This powerful revelation not only strengthens the ties between Judaism and Islam, but also validates a long-held belief among Muslims. Watch as we present undeniable proof from Jewish texts, confirming what has always been known in the Muslim world. Shalom, Mishpacha. My name is Rabbi Mort, and the video is going to be called Prophecies of Muhammad, the Ishmaelite Prophet in the Bible, and the Scriptures. We'll start out with a quick prayer. Aramimcha Hashem, ki deltani, shalom Yerushalam. We start out with Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 33, verse 2. Hashem came from Sinai and rose up from Sayer unto them. He shined forth from Mount Paran, and he came forth with thousands of his saints. The simple explanation in here is that the mentioning of Mount Paran, Mount Paran is the Mount of Ishmael which may refer to also Muhammad. We also discussed uh, Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. Yes, the name Muhammad does show up. It does say Muhammadim, but the name Muhammad is very plainly in the text. I, I also discovered in Isaiah, Ishiyahu, chapter 60, verse 7, which I'm going to read for us. All the flocks of Kedar shall be gathered together unto thee. Rams of Nabioth shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with acceptance of Hashem's altar, and he will glorify the house of, of his glory. So it says, and I will glorify the house of my glory. When he says, and I will glorify the house of my glory, it's referring to, it could only be Kaaba. In Mecca, the sacred house the, for the glory of Elohim that Avraham built with Ishmael. We keep going into Isaiah 60, chapter 1 through 7. In Isaiah 60, 1 through 7, a prophecy about a prophet bringing a light of Hashem to the world. This holy prophet or holy man would appear in a time of darkness filling the world and covering the earth. He would appear to eliminate the darkness and spread the light of Hashem and His praises. In Isaiah 60 verse 3 we read, And the Gentiles shall come to the light. And that means this prophet would arise among the Gentiles and his light. Would fulfill, it would, he would fill this place where the nations would come and visit. In Isaiah 60 verse 7, we know plainly as about Kadar, where its flocks and tribes would be gathered together. We go to also book of Jasher, Hayashar, chapter 25 verse 16, which is also found in Bereshit, Genesis chapter 25 verse 13. Also, 1 Chronicles 1, 29, and it says, And Reba bear unto Ishmael, Nabioth, Kedar, and Abdil, and so on. I finish this with Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. I am black, but calmly, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of enjoyed the video please like comment and share the video as always stay vigilant